All right, so I originally was doing a video to try to find villagers from uh, going to Mystery Islands. Ooh, that was cool. Wasn't expecting that. But anyway, I was originally trying to go to Mystery Islands to find villagers, and I learned the hard way. They don't even show up on the Mystery Islands unless you have an open spot in your town. Um... Oh, is it a meteor shower tonight? And, um, so... I had an open spot, and someone started moving into my town the very day that I started trying to do that. So, I tried waiting until they fully moved in, figuring, well, if a villager shows up on the island, I can probably have them kick someone out. Like if you have someone at your campsite. Uh, unfortunately, no, it doesn't work that way. Uh, basically, the only way that you can get someone to come to your island is if you have an open space, unless you buy an amiibo, of course. Um, I'm not very happy with this system. Uh, and not only that, if you get someone in your campsite they and there's no room, they'll randomly kick someone out. You don't get to pick someone like with the amiibos. Yeah, apparently I have a meteor shower tonight. So, yeah, um, basically, I finally got Velma to leave, or she's on her way out, but now I have a camper at my campsite. So, uh, I don't really know how this works. I don't know if I ask them to join, will they just randomly kick someone out and I don't get any input, or can they say, like, oh, well, so-and-so will leave... I don't really know how it works. But at any rate, I want to see who's at the campsite first. Because I haven't looked yet. It might be someone exciting. It might be worth it. Oh, no. It's uh, some weird looking bunny. I mean, I guess kind of a cute one. But, I see, I don't know how this works. If I ask this person to come, will they just randomly kick somebody out? I mean, I have cards for, like, Cherry and Portia, but, like, I don't have cards for, like, Shep and Savannah. So if they get kicked off, I'm just screwed. Yeah, I don't really know how it works. I don't know if it'll give me any kind of options. I mean, this is kind of a cute character. Like, if I could kick Spike out for this character, or like... Let me see what they say. What? Kind of weird-ass shit. <sighs> okay, well, uh, I guess that solves that. So, I'm not getting the random bunny, but tomorrow, Velma should move out. Oh my god, these stars. Tomorrow, Velma should move out, and I can do some just, like, kind of random searching. I had over 50 tickets. I had over 130 thousand nook miles saved up and it took me a really long time uh luckily i only used about i think 14 of them and i started realizing i'm not seeing any campers on these islands and i heard that they should be showing up so i looked into it and yeah it turns out that um because i didn't have an open slot they just won't show up and on top of that i didn't get any cool islands uh the best thing i got was one money rock island and I got one really weird one where the only bugs were dragonflies, and everything you fished up was garbage. Um, so it was like tires and uh, 
uh, cans and things like that, which was really strange, but... I mean, I didn't really want that. I guess it was nice because I have a friend who uh, wants to collect some garbage. So I, I, I gathered some up for him. I think he'll really enjoy that. I think he's trying to make the background, like the wallpaper and the flooring and stuff. But um, yeah, it wasn't that exciting. Uh, I mean, it's not. A, it wasn't like a shark island, which is more what I was hoping for because I don't have any sharks yet. But... So I am going to, uh, well, I'm going to skip ahead to the next morning so I can collect these star pieces or some of these star pieces. Um, and then Velma should be gone. So I'll skip to that night and then we'll go do some random islands because I would like the opportunity to get a tarantula island. Uh, I know you can't get those during the day, so I'm just going to switch it to, like, uh, probably around how I have it, 8.30 p.m. now. I'll just switch it to, like, 8.30 p.m. tomorrow, and then I should, theoretically, have an open house, unless I don't know if people can move in that same day. I am really hoping not. It took me forever to get Velma to move out. I had to keep ignoring her. It was super frustrating. And then I finally saw her with that little cloud, and she moved out, or she's in the process of moving out so this house should be open tomorrow night hopefully okay so velma is moved out the plot is empty no one's trying to move in and i have my explorer outfit on so i think it's time to go check out some islands uh somehow there's another meteor shower tonight i don't know how i got it two nights in a row i feel like that's kind of crazy but i don't really need any more star fragments so i think i'm just gonna go ahead and explore islands i wonder if the meteor shower happens while you're on the islands i don't think it would but i'm kind of intrigued to see if you'll be able to see them right so what i heard Oh, it's like raining hard on this one. So what I heard is that there should be a villager on every island if you have an open slot. I, well, I see a campfire already, so I guess that might be true. Looks like this is a spiral island, which, I mean, isn't ideal, but if I get to look at some villagers, I mean, that's definitely the upside of it. That one actually looks kind of cute. But I don't... Here's the thing. I don't want to... I don't want to pick too soon. Like, obviously, not my the first one I get is probably not the one I'm gonna pick because I have like 40 more tickets sitting at home. So it seems like it would be silly to just pick the first one I see. So I'm gonna try to hold off until I find one that I really like, and then I'm gonna work on getting another villager that I don't like to move out. This one is pretty cute, though. Me oh my, my oh my is her catchphrase. Okay, I have to admit, she is pretty cute. She's definitely an improvement on Velma. I, I'm going to give her that. See, I wish you could, like, the ones you find on islands, you could, like, stay in contact with or something. So, like, if you find a really cute one and then you have an opening later, I don't know. I feel like they did these islands in a really dumb way. Like, it's so random. It's so unlikely that you're going to get anything good. And even if you have an open slot, then it's like, well, once you pick one, then you're never going to see any more again until you have an open slot. I feel like there's a lot... Ooh, ah, I wanted that. I feel like there's a lot better ways they could have done it. I don't know. Maybe that's just me. But, okay, so first island, we have Judy, who is definitely a good villager. I am pretty happy with that, but the island itself is just a pretty standard spiral island. Nothing too exciting. So, uh, let's go grab another ticket and see what I can get next. Oh my god, Cherry is just too adorable. Cherry, you're distracting me from going and grabbing my ticket. Oh my god. Not you, Mary. 
jeez. Alright, second island, let's see what we got. Is it gonna just be something stupid again? I mean, this is the one I like where it's really cool looking, I recognize it already. Where it's got kind of a weird mountain in the middle and like a bunch of waterfalls, but... There's nothing ever good on this island. It's not a special island, it just sort of looks cool. But let's see what villager, uh, cause there might be someone cool. And I got a fossil, if nothing else. Alright, let's see who's here. I didn't see a campfire, there it is. They're usually hanging over by, oops. They're usually hanging over by the campfire. I. I want to just pick these peaches, not pick all this other crap up. Alright. Looks like I need to pull vault to get over there. Oh, hey! It's, uh, I know that one. Yeah, Fang, there we go. Hmm. I don't have a wolf. Huh. Man, I, am I really gonna take the second villager I found? Yeah, you know what? I am. Well, uh, that was quick. Uh, yeah, I found a villager I like right away. So maybe it was kind of worth, even though I wasted all my time before I figured out how to do it correctly, maybe it was worth it in the end because I found someone right away. But now I still have a bunch of tickets left. Uh, I don't know if I really just want to go to these islands because my experience with them so far is that you're very, very unlikely to find anything cool. Uh, maybe I'll just do a couple more and see what I get. Also, I wonder, even though I asked him to move in, I technically have an open space. So I wonder what would happen if I went to another island while that home is still open. I'm guessing nothing, but... Oops. There we go. I, m I might get lucky and find a cool island, too. I still would like a shark island. I haven't even gotten a tarantula island yet. Why is it raining on so many of the islands I visit? Uh, I don't know if this one's anything special. This looks an awful lot like... You know, I think this actually might be like the one where I could only fish up garbage. It looks exactly like it. Oh, and it's got water bugs. Oh, so if it only has one type of bug, that means it's all water bugs, and those sell for a lot. That actually might be really good. And my net broke. <sighs> Why does this game remind me so much, so much of Breath of the Wild? Okay, well, let's see, because I'm pretty sure this is all going to be trash, if I'm right. So this is like another, this is an actual specific type of island, which is nice. Like, it's not just nothing. Yep, there you go. So everything you fish up on this island is going to be trash. So small is going to be uh, like that one over there. That's going to be a stone. Um, medium, like the one that's behind me, is going to be a tin can. Large is going to be a boot, and then extra large, which are like the really huge ones, are going to be tires. So, uh, I'm not going to take that with me, obviously. I'm probably going to drop just about everything. So that I have enough room for these water bugs. Yeah, I got a few water bugs on that island. Just, just, you know, just a couple. Didn't want to uh, let that go to waste. So I think that's actually probably the last island I'm going to do for this video. I'm really surprised that I got such good stuff in just three islands. Whereas last time I did like 
14 and got basically nothing. So I think I just was very lucky. Uh, but I am glad that I got a new villager that I'm really happy with. So I guess I can put these away. Oh, that's right. Well, yeah, that's about it. So if you liked the video, make sure to leave a like. Uh, if you have any comments, be sure to, you know, leave those down below. And make sure to subscribe, hit the bell, etc, etc. You know the drill. Other than that, have a good one. Okay, now let's go see who this Joey person is that was keeping uh, me from finding new people for my island. I'm gonna go ahead and guess it's a kangaroo. I already said that, I know, but I'm, I'm pretty sure it's a friggin' kangaroo, so... It's just gonna be another person that I'm trying to replace, I'm sure. Not super, um, fond of kangaroos. Oh, it's some kind of bird, even better. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> yeah. No, we're definitely replacing that one.